next up, please, um, Mr. Nick Herbert. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. And Nick, your application is about ending tuberculosis. Uh, that's right, Mr. Mayor. Thank, thank you very much indeed uh, for hearing this um, application. Um, I have received, um, which I'm making um, jointly with Varindra Sharma, who is my co-chair of the All-Party Parliamentary Group on Global Tuberculosis, uh, who hope to be here. Uh, so he may join us. Um, and I've received uh, so far uh, nearly 50 uh, members of Parliament from all parties have uh, supported this application, and I only started asking them less than a week ago. Uh, and I think that is a sign of the interest that there is um, in uh, this issue, um, I interest which, in my view, is um, overdue. And in fact, 100 uh, parliamentarians, members of this House and the other place, uh, signed a letter to the Prime Minister uh, a few weeks ago uh, calling for more action to end tuberculosis. Uh, there are, the reason um, this is important is because it's not known that tuberculosis is the world's deadliest infectious disease. It kills 1.7 million people a year, more than HIV AIDS to which it is linked, uh, and malaria combined. Uh, and the rate of progress in tackling the disease is too slow. It was declared a global health emergency in 1993, since when 50 million people have died. Uh, the world's leaders came together three years ago and set the Sustainable Development Goals. Goal 3.3 says these major epidemics are to be beaten in 15 years' time, uh, HIV, AIDS, malaria, and TB. On the current trajectory, uh, TB will not be beaten for 160 years' time. And by 2030, another uh, 30 million people will have lost their lives. So there is insufficient attention to a disease that should be easily and cheaply curable. On top of that, you have the risk of drug resistance, uh, which is growing. Drug-resistant TB is very dangerous, uh, and uh, the rates of drug resistance uh, are rising. On top of that, you have an economic cost, which is huge. Uh, to uh, developing economies, holding them back. Ten million people a year are getting sick from this disease. Uh, and the costs uh, estimated by Lord O'Neill's committee into drug resistance, um, should uh, drug-resistant TB take hold, it would account for about a, a quarter of all drug-resistant deaths um, by 2050, uh, would be astronomical. And that would fall on the world's developed economies uh, as well. So there are, there are very powerful reasons why this issue should be debated at any time, and it hasn't been debated properly for a couple of years now. But there are particular reasons for wanting to debate it now, which is that finally this issue is being pushed up the political agenda. Uh, there is now a United Nations high-level meeting to be held in United Nations General Assembly Week in September. All heads of government have been invited by the Assembly to attend. Uh, and uh, what the letter to the Prime Minister was about a few weeks ago was specifically asking her if she would attend. Uh, and uh, part of the purpose of holding this debate is to ask the government, uh, do they intend uh, to support the high-level meeting? Will the Prime Minister attend? What action is the government going to take on tuberculosis? Its record has been very good uh, in this area, but there is a great deal more to do, and the UK's leadership is desperately needed. Uh, so... Uh, in that sense, it's timely. We put in an application to hold a Westminster Hall debate, not through this committee, Mr. Mans, um, in, um, uh, to coincide with World TB Day in March, and didn't, uh, uh, didn't uh, succeed. And so we thought that the appropriate thing to do now was to elevate the issue. It deserves attention, we think. It deserves uh, um, a debate on the floor of the House, which tuberculosis has never had. I think, frankly, if uh, we were making an application for HIV-AIDS, people would say, well, of course, it, of course that should be debated on the floor of the House. Uh, and yet TB is the orphan disease. I think it's time that it got, got the attention it deserves. And it appears that a great number of colleagues do agree with us about that. Verendra, yeah. anything you'd like to add? No, no thank you. Thank you're, you're okay. Thank you. Thank you. Alex, please. It's just, it's the application you've got a fine number of names in terms of getting a three-hour debate in the chamber. Would you like it to be timed as close as possible to the UN high-level meeting, so in the two weeks we return in September, or would you like it before we rise for the summer? It, I, 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 it's a very good question, and I think we would like it to be sooner, because actually part of the purpose of this debate is to try and establish from the government uh, whether or not they intend to support 
the meeting and in specifically whether the Prime Minister uh, intends to attend. And if we hold the debate too close to the, yes. uh, the September meeting, that decision might have been made. Yeah. Uh, so I, one of the reasons for putting the application now was to try and secure a debate as soon as possible. Clearly it's not time sensitive in the sense that there isn't anything specific going on next week or the week after. I mean, there is a UN meeting the week after next, a uh, civil society hearing, which I'm speaking at in New York. Uh, but there isn't, uh, I suspect that um, heads of government will take these decisions over the next few weeks. Uh, and so it's quite important, I think, that uh, the feeling in the House uh, about this, which has already been expressed in the letter, but I think formally uh, ought to be expressed, um, uh, and the government, I think, ought to hear that. Thank you very much indeed, Rick. Bob. Um, yes, sir, Nick. In terms of following up Alex's uh, question, we've got a we've got a potential uh, free date on the seventh of June in the chamber. Yeah. Um, would you be if, if if the committee decided to offer that to you? Would you be in a position to have the debate then? Which day of the week is that? Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday the seventh. Uh, yes. The week we come back. Yeah. Yes. 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 Would yeah. you? Yes. We would. Yeah, we, we, we tend to get Thursdays. Thursdays uh, that, yeah, that, that's the day that we tend to get. Yes, and uh, yeah. I mean, I, uh, no, just, uh, the reason for asking is obviously yeah. you're talking about addressing the United Nations. <coughs> yeah, I'm doing that on the um, uh, Monday. Yeah, okay. So, so I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Anyone else, please? Okay. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.